When the disciples came to Jesus, they were already competitive. That's why they kept trying to find out who will be the greatest. And they were so pathetic that they got their mother involved. And the very thing that Christ was trying to kill, which was the competitive spirit, we're trying to build it up in the name of evangelism. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 2, verse 1, it says, If there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy, that you be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing, let how many things? It says, let nothing be done through what? Strife. Stop right there. The Bible says, let nothing be done through what? Strife. What does that word strife mean? If you look it up in the Greek, you know what the word means? Rivalry. That's what the word actually means. The word strife means rivalry. Let nothing be done that would promote rivalry. Putting people against each other. The Bible says, let nothing be done through strife. But then it goes on. It says, let nothing be done through strife or what else? Vain glory. Now, brothers and sisters, in fact, before we go to vain glory, I want you to think about this. Who did competition really begin with anyhow? Satan goes before God and says, I will be like the Most High. Now, the reason why I want you to think about that is go back to Galatians 5. Put your finger, keep your finger on Philippians 2, but go back to Galatians 5. Keep your finger on Philippians 2. I'm trying to wind this up, but the Lord keeps downloading. Brothers and sisters, look at this. <laughs> Galatians 5. In Galatians chapter 5, do you remember we just looked at those works of the flesh? Look at what it says is the work of the flesh, of the flesh, of the flesh. It says in Galatians 5, notice what it says in verse 20. It says idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance. What's that next word? What is emulation? You know what emulation is? To emulate is when you're trying to be equal to or better than somebody else. To emulate is when you strive to be equal to or better than somebody else. The Bible says that emulations is a work of the flesh. And therefore, when God was saying, let nothing be done through strife or rivalry, God was saying, don't do anything that's going to try where you're trying to constantly be equal or better than each other. In fact, look at Philippians chapter 2 again. And I say this because you know what happens? A lot of us right now, we're going ahead and saying amen here, and then the devil will work through his instruments. And I'm going to show you that it's his instruments. He will work through his instruments to take away and steal away the experience that you're having here. If you and I are caught up in competitive sports, brothers and sisters, we are working during a time God said, do no work. In Philippians chapter 2, it says in verse 4, look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. How can you do that when you're trying to beat the person next to you? If your whole goal is to try to beat that person and overcome them and so on so that they can be the loser and I can be the winner, how can you fulfill verse 4? It says in verse 3, let nothing be done through strife of vainglory, but in what kind of mind? In lowliness of mind, let each esteem other what? Better than himself. How can you esteem others better than yourself when your whole mission is to try to beat them? God wants us to understand there are distraction, distractive agencies that Satan is seeking to set up to cause us as God's people to lose sight of the solemnity of the times that we're living in.
For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. 